Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video we have a TikTok makeup hacks. For the people who don't know me, my name is Leonor. I'm a makeup artist, a makeup lover and a makeup enthusiast. And here in my channel you can always find videos about makeup. And today I'm going to be trying four new TikTok makeup hacks. You know that I've been doing this series for a little while and I think that you are liking to see. Tell me if you are. <laughs> but today I bring you one more. I'm going to try four more hacks and I really hope that you like them. For today's video we have four hacks. So I'm going to try them and see how they work, if they work, if I like them. And the first one is about complexion. If you can see in the video, she is putting first concealer, then she puts the contour, then the foundation and then the blush and she blends everything. So that's the first one that I'm going to do. Let's see if it works good. So I'm going to start with the concealer. I'm going to use this one from Huda Beauty. And for what I see, she puts the concealer in here. She puts a little bit in here, in the tip of the nose. She puts a little bit in here as well, here and also in here. For contour, I'm going to use this one from Huda Beauty, the Tantour. So she does like one in here, then she puts in here a little bit. Now she picks the foundation. I'm going to be using this one today. And the foundation she puts everywhere where we don't have concealer or bronzer. And now for blush, I'm going to use this one from Rare Beauty in the color Encourage. And she says to mist everything. I'm using this one from MAC, the Fix Plus. Oh, I forgot to put the contour on the nose. Let me put it very quick. And now she says to start from the concealer, that it's the lightest shade. And now with a foundation brush, she starts blending the foundation. And then the blush and contour. I feel like this side in here it's a little bit more strong. I'm feeling like this part is a little bit down, like this one, it's a little bit more natural, this is more strong. I don't know if I really like it. For the concealer, I feel like I don't have almost anything, so I'm going to apply a little bit more and blend it with the brush again. I can't say that the skin looks good, but it's not my favorite way of applying it. I feel like it doesn't look as good as it could be. I feel like this side is not as strong as this one. I feel like this one is a little bit more, so... I don't think that it's the easiest way. I understand her idea that it's like only using a product in one place so we, we don't do like layers of makeup. So the next hack it's for eyes, it's for doing high lift with makeup and she picks a contour product. In this case it's a liquid one. So I'm going to pick the same one that I already use. Her it's more liquid, this one it's more a cream one. So she does this and on the other side as well. And then she picks the concealer and she puts a little bit here on the inner corner of the eye and on top of where we put the bronzer and down as well. And then she comes with a brush and blends everything, starting from the concealer. And now blending the contour. So 
So we have there a shadow. I don't know if you can see there on the camera. It gives that a little bit of the high lift. I normally like to do this, but I normally don't do it with creams. I normally pick a bronzer. And what I do is I pick a brush and I do like the same thing, like the same effect that I did with the cream, but with powder. I think that it looks a little bit more natural and it looks a little bit better and I think that it's easier. So I'm just going to put my mascara and do my eyebrows and I will be right back for us to do the lip hack. Next hack, it's for lips. And I'm really scared of doing this because she does a big lips. She overlines, but she really overlines the lip and I'm really scared to see how this is going to look in the end. So like she starts overlining the lip it's a little bit, maybe more. I'm going to do in here. I'm scared. I don't know what I look like, maybe a clown. Oh my god, she paints a little bit here on this inside and she picks a liquid lipstick. I'm going to be using the one from Huda Beauty in the color Wifey. The lip liner that I use is from Charlotte Tilbury in the color Foxy Brown. Oh my god, it's awful. <laughs> Let me try to like blend the colors to see if this looks better. I don't know if it looks good on camera, I'm trying to decide. But here on the mirror it doesn't look good. Let's forget that I did this and let's pass to the next hack, the last one that we have. And she picks a setting spray, I'm going to pick the same that she has, even though mine it's almost ending. And then she picks powder. I'm going to pick the same one that she also picked from Charlotte as well. And then with the sponge she comes and puts the powder. But she says to tap it. So to do this. From what I'm seeing, my skin in this part in here, I can see like the powder uh, mixed with this one. I should have let it dry a little bit. It doesn't look good in here. In the rest of the face, it looks a little bit blurry, so I'm liking it. But the lips, oh my god, I can't. I'm going to take the lips off, if you don't mind, because I, I don't, I can't. I can't look at myself like this. I wasn't like feeling it, no. I'm just going to do like n the normal thing that I do with lips and I will be right back so we can talk a little bit about the hex. So guys, I'm back. My lips look normal right now. I'm feeling myself again. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about the four hacks. The first one, the one that has to do with complexion. I have to say that I think that it works if you mix everything very well, if you put like a fixing mist uh, on uh, the skin and then like blend everything. I think that it works even though I think it's not my perfect way to do skin. I think that it works. I think that it gives a good look to the skin, mix everything. What I thought is like, because you are blending everything, you can feel the same thing that I felt. That is, in this side I had less product, this one I had a little bit more. Maybe in this side I mix more the foundation with the bronzer and the blush and this one doesn't. So we have a little bit in here that it's, it's not my preference, even though I think that it works and the idea that she wanted to give us is like not applying so much products 
like you apply the same products you just don't apply so much layers of makeup and that makes the makeup look a little bit more natural for the second hack that we had for eyes i think that it's like it worked but i think i prefer to do it as i told you with a bronzer like you just pick the bronzer you come here and you do this and you blend and you like the same thing that she was doing that it's pulling the high up you come and do this and this and pull it out of the eye and you can do the same effect i think that it's easier doing with this one and then if you want you can also apply a little bit in here of a lighter shadow as she applied the concealer you can apply a lighter shadow so i prefer to do with with powders <laughs> let's pass to the third one that i hated for the lips uh, oh my god i'm not going to do my lips again like that i think that it's it doesn't look natural it looks too much i was looking at myself here in the mirror and the only thing that i could see was mouth that doesn't look good i like to see her beautiful lip of course a little bit plumped that it has a good color but not like my mouth was like this I really look like a clown. For the last hack, the one that has to do with setting spray and powder, I think that it works. The only thing that I should have done that I didn't was let first this one dry. She told me on the video, but I didn't read that part. So I should have let it dry a little bit on my skin and then apply the powder. I feel like the first part where I apply the powder, that it was this area in here, it has a little bit of spots where I don't have the um, makeup. So that's my fault. But the other side, I think that it looks good. It looks a little bit more flawless. This side in here, I need to try it again. But letting this one dry, this or other, um, so I can see how it looks because it's not looking bad, but it's not looking awesome. So I need to try that again and I will tell you in another video. Uh, how it looks. Now I want to know what you thought about the video, if you liked it or not, if you have already tried these hacks and what you think about them, if you use any of them. So go down there in the comments area and tell me everything. And if you like this one, don't forget to also go down there and click on the subscribe button and also on the ring bell so you can get all the notifications when I upload a new video. And if you like this one, don't forget to also give it a thumbs up. I'm also going to leave down there the social media that I use, so you can go there and follow me as well. Now that we are in the end of the video, I just want to thank you so much for being here, for watching my video until the end. And now I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!